I'm Rachel Conrad for Two Egg TV. We're on Spring Creek, Georgia, and we've got a diver in the water looking for a mysterious stone structure that's supposed to be on the bottom of this creek. The bottom of Spring Creek has changed dramatically in the 60 years since the Jim Woodruff Dam was completed. An account written in 1924 described it as a clear, cold stream formed by a succession of blue springs. The water was clear and a beautiful blue in its deeper parts. The bottom was sand. All of that changed when Lake Seminole was created in 1958. What was once pure and clear and blue is now murky and overgrown by hydrilla and other invasive plants. The sandy bottom has disappeared beneath deepening layers of silt. And the silt in there is pretty deep. I mean, I was able to put my arm down to my elbow and I could have still kept going. Hidden somewhere in this mass of muck and hydrilla is a mysterious stone structure that has not been seen by human eyes in 60 years. Its story is one of theories and intrigue. We know that Dr. A.R. Kelly of the University of Georgia uh, excavated uh, the oven structure in the 1940s. Uh, he said that he found no evidence of fire or ash or anything like that in it, so we know it was not really an oven. Unfortunately, he found no other artifacts of any kind in the oven. Uh, and so that really makes it hard to identify what it was. Uh, at the time he saw it, it was, uh, it was still very noticeable as a structure. He said the stone walls were intact and there was a door on the south end where a, a tree had grown up in the door and had been cut off. Um, you know, he had no real clue what it could have been. He thought maybe it was a Native American structure. That's certainly possible. Some believe that it was built by Native Americans. Others credit the Spanish, the U.S. military, or even Confederate deserters. Some offer theories that are more than a bit controversial. Now, archaeologists vehemently dispute that theory. They say that there's absolutely no evidence of a Mayan presence in the southeastern United States. I tend to agree with them on that because you had powerful kingdoms or chiefdoms here, like the Kolomoki people at that time. They were powerful, militaristic people, and it's hard for me to imagine they would have let some roving band of Mayan just pass through their territory. But you never know. I mean, that's what's fun about a mystery. Uh, you got people saying Mayans, you got people saying Irish, you got people saying Native Americans, you got people saying Andrew Jackson's army. Uh, we don't know. It's a mystery at the bottom of the lake, uh, and that makes it a lot of fun to me. It was to seek answers that 2 TV undertook its expedition to find and video the lost structure. Changes on the lake bottom, however, have added great difficulty to the effort. Well, I think that uh, you know, with the creek bed being where it is and how deep it is, that the bank, the original bank, was over off to the east quite a distance, probably a good 60, 70 feet from there. And it's just too, uh, too covered with hydrilla to really be able to search around there very easily. Uh, but uh, the creek bed stayed about 11 to 14 feet deep pretty much the entire time and then even when I ventured off to the uh, to the side into the hydrilla I never got shallower than about nine feet or so uh, and I was right above the bottom the entire time. So I think uh, even, that, even that was a gradual slope up and not so much of a, a sharp embankment like you'd expect to see 60 years ago before they flooded this. For those who grew up around Lake Seminole, hearing stories of the mysterious structure on its bottom, it will be a memorable moment if Jackson's Oven can be found. You know, I grew up hearing it called Jackson's Oven. I've been aware of it since I was a kid. I've never seen it. Uh, and, and what a treat it would be if we could find it today. I mean, uh, that would just be an incredible thing for me personally because this is one of those things, these mysteries that kind of gets in your system when you're a little kid and, and sticks with you your whole life. Will the very first dive reveal the mysterious lost structure? And what will we learn about it? Uh, it was a stone structure. Is he standing up over there? No, he's swimming, right? I wonder if we found it. 